put on your thinking cap to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Hornelson here, and I like to put on my thinking cap, but more often than that, I like to put on my thinking crown. Reminds me to think like a boss, think like a queen, instead of just thinking like everyone else does. So today our idiom for supersize your business, and the one we want to consider what it means and where it came from, and how we could apply it to growing and building and supersizing our business, is to put on your thinking cap. This idiom's been around since the 19th or 20th, early 20th century, and as in the form of thinking cap. Prior to that, it was called a considering cap, and it was made famous by an English comic writer by the name of Robert Armin in his uh, work, Fool Upon Fool. But probably the most famous example of it was published in 1765 by John Newberry in The History of Little Miss Goody Two Shoes. Now, I am not familiar with either of those works of literature, but I am familiar with this particular idiom as as far back as grade school, which is many, many decades ago now, we were always told to put on our thinking cap, meaning think for yourself, start to give some serious consideration and thought to a topic or to something. Well, if we don't spend some time and energy thinking about how we're going to grow and build and supersize our business, what's the probability of it happening? I have found that in my personal life, as well as my professional life and my business and everything else, Thinking is one of the hardest things we have to do. It's why so many people don't think for themselves. It's because it takes work and energy, and sometimes it's actually painful because we have to question what's going on around us and say, hmm, is that true? Does that make sense? Is that right for me? Is that right for my business? And those are very important questions to ask, and they require that we put on our thinking cap or crown and ask those difficult questions. Consider doing some research and then taking the information that we find and actually thinking about it and applying it to growing and building and supersizing our business. So I love this idiom because I actually like to think for myself, even though sometimes it's hard and sometimes I say the wrong thing and have to look up people's names, but that's because I'm not really familiar with their works. I mean, I, I don't read a whole lot of 16th century <laughs> comedy poetry or even from the 1765 realm, right? I, I'm too busy keeping up with all the information that's coming out nowadays as far as growing and building and supersizing my businesses. So share in the comments below your experience with this particular idiom and have an awesome day. Notice as you go throughout your day, things that you're thinking about, thoughts that you're having and how they're either positively impacting your business or negatively impacting your business. Because guess what? We think a lot of negative thoughts during the day. We're exposed to a lot of negativity. And that usually does not help us grow our business. All right. Have an awesome day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it to grow and build and supersize your business?